A judge ruled today that Stephen Goldman will remain locked up as APD builds its case against him in the murders of 15-year-old Colin Romero and 14-year-old Ahmed Latif. Today, investigators revealed the teens were beaten, tortured, and shot all over marijuana. What happened to 15-year-old Colin Romero and 14-year-old Ahmed Latif is hard to hear. Colin Romero and uh, Ahmed Latif were taken uh, forcibly taken to the West uh, Mesa. The bodies were recovered and tor uh, were tortured. Uh, there was multiple gunshot wounds throughout the bodies, uh, <coughs> including uh, gunshot wounds to the feet and legs that would have not been killing shots. It would have been for torture pur purposes. Sitting there listening to it all, the boys' families. Those boys, described as average teens, were last seen by a friend on December 16th after leaving his house near Hoover Middle School, he says, to give someone weed. Investigators believe that someone is Stephen Goldman, and they believe the deal went bad. They were beaten and killed at, at one location, and then they were taken to a further north location, which is in Sandoval County. Today in court, a detective testified that as the boys' family zeroed in on a search area in the many days the boys were missing, their bodies were moved and the car used to transport them. The vehicle was located um, fully engulfed um, and torched in the Laguna tribal area. Investigators say they have evidence Goldman's father may have torched it. They also have a link to Goldman's sister. Goldman was found hiding out in her home in Oregon after the murders. It took a SWAT standoff to get him into custody. But they did find a piece of important evidence there, a notebook with Goldman's handwriting. He's asking for forgiveness that, uh, of what he had done. Now, at this point, Goldman is not facing charges for the murders, but police say it is a work in progress. They believe a second person was also involved in the killings, but APD has not revealed a name. A third person, Anthony Adagon, has been arrested for tampering with evidence in the case, accused of moving the bodies. He was caught in Las Vegas, Nevada.